So we are going to go over the cool down from yesterday very quickly right now. This is really and truly all you needed to write. There are six dogs to two cats, or two mice. There are two cats to three dogs. Like we, like I said, we made it super hard. When you're discussing and you're talking about ratios, you can say the ratio of dogs to cat is six to two. <coughs> you can say um, the ratio of you know boys to girls is 15 to 11, whatever. But we made it way, way, way more complicated. Um, so just please go ahead for your cool down page. Just write number one, write this example. Number two, write this example on your cool down page. So the page that you created for your cool down that I threw in the garbage, because I didn't really want to put those grades in your in the grade book, that's what you're doing now. So you should be writing now on your cool down page. Yeah. Okay. 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 So how many of you guys realized that you made this super duper way harder than it needed to be? Yeah. So sometimes you just gotta, like I said, toss it in the garbage and start over. And some of you guys got a 100, but I feel like there wasn't enough students that got a 100 to, I mean, at the end of the day, I do care about you guys, and I don't want you to have bad grades, so. <coughs> I made an executive decision as a teacher today. Nah. All right, everybody have this. Anybody who's still copying it? Do you have a favorite class? Like I love all of you the same. Some days I love all of you a little less. You sound like a parent when you hear that. I am a parent. I have 90 plus children. Yeah, well, huh? Oh, you're doing it. Wait, you're real active. Like, are you going to throw that? Oh, wait, how many kids do you have? She has one. You said you had your active children. Wait, how old is your first kid? 10. She'll be 11 and Alright, so next blank left page. <laughs> Listen, hush now. All right, so before we get too much further into this lesson, let's look at our essential question, because I did say we were gonna come back and work on that a little bit. So we don't necessarily know what a ratio is yet. How, do we know how to write ratios? Yes. What did we learn yesterday? Mikhail. If you don't know, guys, do you have a notebook where you can look back at the videos from yesterday? Ronnie, what did we learn yesterday? We learned three different kinds of ratios, the fraction form, the ratio form, and the work form. All right, so we learned how to write ratios. So we have fraction form, colon form, and work form. All right. Did we learn how to say ratios? Clearly by the cool down. 
down no we did not so we're going to definitely work on that today um putting a lot a lot of emphasis on how to correctly say like a ratio now ratios technically are just comparing two quantities of something so a really good example would be not in this class because we have a lot of chairs that don't have legs but um tables to chairs all right, so how many tables do we have in our classroom? Eight. So we have eight tables. Now, how many chairs do we have per table? Four. four. So, yeah, we, well, technically we're supposed to have four. So let's just say four table or four chairs per table. So our ratio for chairs to tables would be what, 32 to eight. Okay, so the ratio of table or chairs to tables is 32 chairs to eight tables. All right, we are simply comparing tables to chairs. So a ratio is a comparison of two different things. Okay, so that is what a ratio is. <coughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get into this lesson today. So we are starting with this number talk. So we're gonna be talking about dividing by four and multiplying by one fourth. So it says find the value of each expression mentally. So you're not doing any work. You are um, going to do 24 divided by 4, 1 fourth times 24, 24 times 1 fourth, and 5 divided by 4. I'm going to give you, let's say, let's say three minutes. If we need a little bit more time, we can. Um, but not too much more time. All right, if you get finished before the timer goes off, you may stand up. Thank you.
All right, let's go ahead and go over this. All right, so what is 24 divided by 4? Um, Olivia. Okay, what is 1 fourth times 24? What does it equal? Equal 6, right? What about 24 times 1 fourth? What is that going to equal? Six. And then five divided by four is going to give you what? So it's going to give you five fourths. Or if you change it to a mixed number, what do you get? Ronnie. One and one All right. So. I will let you know it's going to be a little bit difficult on this next part because obviously these are black and white colors. So I will tell you what the colors are. So this one right here, there are two green for this one. You don't have to write this down. I'm gonna leave this up so you guys can see it. This one, there are Okay. So this one there are five yellow. This one there are two blue. This one there is one black. This one is three pink. This one is five red. All right, so it says for the next part, so for step one, or question number one, <coughs> it says to choose two of the colors in the image and draw a diagram showing the number of snap cubes for these two colors, okay? Then it says, um, two, trade your paper with a partner on their paper, write a sentence to describe the ratio shown in their diagram. Your partner will do the same. So I'm going to give you an example. All right. Obviously, this example you cannot use. That makes sense. Yes. So I'm going to pick the black one and the blue one. So I'm going to do one black or two blue. So this is my one black blue okay so that's what you're doing when you draw your diagram so it doesn't have to be ex like detailed and all of that all right so I'm gonna give you two minutes to draw your diagram that should be plenty of time and then you're just gonna switch with your shoulder partner so Olivia just move over here with the girls just for this activity and then the three of you guys will just rotate your papers all right any questions with what you're doing for number one and number two all right, so for number one, I'm gonna give you two minutes to draw. Make sure you have it labeled. If you have time, you can throw some color on it. It doesn't really matter. All right, go. All right, give me a thumbs up when you're draw, done drawing your diagram. That way we, I know that we can move on if we have everybody finished.
Looks like everybody is finished. <coughs> All right, so you're going to take your paper and you're going to rotate it to the right. Okay? So everybody's rotating their paper. So if there's just two people, you're just exchanging papers. But if there's three people or four people, you're rotating your paper to the right. All right? Now, remember, you are keeping this simple. So like an example of mine would be down here, like my partner would write um, the ratio of black to blue snap cubes is one to two. Okay? Keep it simple, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it simple. All right, so you're going to write one sentence, and then once everybody's done, you're going to rotate your paper back. All right? One minute, go. All right, is everybody done with their sentence? All right, rotate it back to the original person. And then, if you look over at number three, number three says, return to your partner's paper, read the sentence um, written on your paper. If you disagree, explain why you disagree. So, essentially, you gotta talk to your partner. So read what they wrote, and then if you agree with it, thumbs up. If you don't agree with it, be like, I disagree because. Okay? So go ahead and have that quick conversation. <laughs> So did anybody disagree with what their partners wrote? All right, Delilah, you disagree? Yeah. What? She put seven degrees, but it's five oh. It's five what? I mean, it's five yellow, and she put seven. If we're um, yellow, she put seven. Okay, so is your drawing good, or was it? She thought the arrow was a seven, oh. because it was like that. Okay. Then was All right, so just a, a minor mix up with the numbers. Yes. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Anybody else disagree? Okay, perfect, let's go ahead and move on. All right, so Elena mixed two cups of white paint with six tablespoons of blue paint. So here's a diagram that represents the situation. So you know that this is white, 
paint in cups. So this is one cup, this is two cups. You know that the blue paint is in tablespoons, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So what you are doing with your group members is you're going to discuss the statements that follow. Circle all those that correctly describe the situation. <coughs> Make sure that you both agree, it's as partners, but we're doing it as a group, um, with the ones that you're circling. So you're reading each one of these scenarios, looking at this diagram to help you. Does that make sense? So this, uh, essentially, this ratio of two to six is what you're looking at to Oops. determine which statement is true and which statement is not true. All right, questions? All right, I'm gonna give you three minutes. If you finish before then, please go ahead and um, stand up for me and be quiet. Go. <laughs> type of activity. So for number, um, no, not number, sorry. For A, it says the ratio of cups of white paint, two tablespoons of blue paint is two to six. Stand up if you agree with that one. So the ratio is two to six, because you have two cups of white paint, two six tablespoons of um, blue paint. Does order matter? No. Nope. Yes. yes. Yes, order does. does matter. I remember writing that down. Yep, order does matter. All right, so B, it says for every cup of white paint, there are two tablespoons of blue paint. So stand up if you agreed with this one. Okay, so let's talk about this one for a second. So we're saying two to six, right? Mm -hmm. So if we simplified our ratio of two to six, what can we divide both of those by? Two. So we get one to three. So is that why we did not agree with this one? Because it should not be two tablespoons, it should be three. three tablespoons. So that should actually be a three to make that statement true. So good job for that one. All right, C, there's one cup of white paint for every three tablespoons of blue paint. Stand up if you pick this one. All right, and obviously this one 
we agree with because of the statement that we just made for beef. All right, D, it says there are three tablespoons of blue paint for every cup of white paint. Stand up if you agree. All right, so with this one, they changed the order, correct? They did blue paint to white paint. So did they put the correct number first? Yes, they did because blue paint to white paint would be three, two, one. Okay, so this one is, this one is true. You should agree with this one, okay? <coughs> Does everybody understand why? Yes. Remember I said, does order matter? Yes. Yes, it does. Order matters. You've got to get that into your head. Order matters, order matters, order, order matters. All right, for E, it says for each tablespoon of blue paint, there are three cups of white paint. Nobody's saying, all right, why? Why is this not? So this would technically technically be one to yeah. one third, yeah. not one to three. Yeah. Okay. There's not three cups of white paint. Right. All right. Um, and for the last one, it says for every six tablespoons of blue paint, there are two cups of white paint. Stand up if you agree. Yes. And this is correct because again the order matters, and this is six to. All right, flip your paper over. G, this one obviously we didn't see just because it was on the back side. Um, so we'll do just a quick stand up, sit down. It says the ratio of tablespoons of blue paint to cups of white paint is six to two. Stand up if you agree. All The ratio of tablespoons of blue paint to cups of white paint is six to two. Why are we not standing up? Boy, you big. Do you want us to circle it as well? Yes. I think we left a brand. Yeah, on the other side. As soon as we flipped the paper, we all forgot what we were doing. All right, last part. It says, shade and mix, eight cups of flour with two pints of water to make a paste for an art project. Draw a diagram that represents the situation, and then write at least two sentences describing uh, the ratio of flour to water. All right, you are doing this independently, but if I were you, I would use this information here and this information that you started with to draw your diagram. And then again, keep it very simple. Are you gonna focus? Keep it very simple. Like I'm not asking for like in-depth things here. All right, I'm gonna give you three minutes, go.
All right. So what does our diagram look like? Ronnie. Bigger, smaller? Uh, they should be bigger. Why should they be bigger? Well, be careful because here we're doing cups, right? So there's eight cups and then there's two pints. Are pints bigger than cups? Yes. Yeah. So. You just need to make a slightly bigger, because look on this one. This one, these are representing cups, these are representing tablespoons. So do show a little bit of a, of a change in, in size. That's it. Okay, but that's perfect. Uh, did anybody have anything different? What'd you have? Um, so did you have like eight squares and two circles? Okay. Okay, anything else? For the most part, it's similar to what's up there. Perfect. <coughs> All right, who would like to share one of their sentences that they wrote? Someone other than Ronnie today. There is two pints of water to eight cups of flour. Perfect. We'll say there are. All right. Who else has one that they want to share? Jonathan. The ratio of, we're going to say, pints <laughs> of water to cups of flour. Because you don't want to put the, the ratio of two pints of water to eight cups of flour because you're already given the ratio then. So we'll just change a little bit to cups of flour. Is you said two to eight? Okay. All right. What's another one? Share your thinking with me today. All right, Zoe? Okay, so the ratio of pints of water to cups of flour is one to four. Perfect. And how did you figure that out, Zoe? Because two So you just simplified it, okay? Um, so the pints of water to Cups of flour is one to four. All right. For the most part, I feel like we have a better understanding of. Oh wait. Do you both need silence to refocus? Then I need you to focus, please. Um, I feel like we have a better understanding of how to say. Ratios, I feel like we have a better understanding of how to draw them now. <coughs> um, we are not doing this activity, so you can cross that out. Go ahead, you can fold this up and glue it into your notebook on your notes page. I'm going to come around with your pull down and pop that out. Um,
with you, but you can use your notes to help you with your pull down. Uh, um, so you are going to obviously be completing your pull down. And then for our angles web, I think everybody who's in the building today is done, but let me make sure. So the people who are not here are the ones who are not done. So you're working on a match of math. I will be looking at the totals to see how many people have achieved um, from Friday. And then once I know that, um, we will go outside around 10. Please work on Lexia or match of math between now and then if you have it. Or if you want to work on redoing your test or zeros or whatever, you can work on those. But you're working. Why? Are there any questions with what you're doing? All right, go ahead and get started.